Why not? Um, I think that the regulation is in place. There's to be more oversight on the current regulation. Yeah. How come? I don't think the oil company, you know, pays the people they want. I think there should be appropriate government regulation. I think we have uh, the infrastructure and tools in place. I just think some policy decisions were made um, that were probably the incorrect ones. More government regulation than there already is. I, I thought there was already a long list of regulations that they had to uh, abide by. I did hear about the. No, I didn't know that. I wasn't aware, but it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Given that I'm not actually American, no, I am not aware of that. Regulation now might have might be key because I think there's enough public observation on the issue. Well, if there were more oversight, one would think there'd be less corruption. But. Um, again, I do not think that regulation more is the answer. I think it's just more appropriate management. If the um, problem of underlying corruption was um, first sorted out, then yes. regulation would improve things, but mm -hmm. and now you're just going into, can we trust the government? And I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. I guess it's uh, our responsibility oh. as who we put in office, hoping that they're not corrupt, understanding that popularity always breeds some sort of corruption in the first place, that's why you elected. Does it? I don't know who does it. Good question. I don't know. In terms of regulating the regulators, Congress is there and can always eliminate agencies, um, create new ones, uh, and make decisions when the regulators fail. So we already have it. We just need to do a better job. Government works for you, um, whereas a corporation is responsible to its shareholders. Well, uh, the biggest oil spill in American history, it'd be hard to do worse. We elected them, didn't we? Why not trust them? That's a good question. I don't know. The fact of the matter is, we have too many regulators that aren't angels. They're not interested in us. They don't have any sense of benevolence or altruism. They're just as corrupt as the people that work in the corporations. In fact, many of them are the people that work in the corporations because that makes them experts, which allows them to work in the bureaucracies that regulate those corporations. The whole relationship is very incestuous, and what you get is this sort of two-headed monster, the corporations themselves and the regulatory regimes. And the two-headed monster feeds off of corporate greed and corruption and exploits you and I and even the environment. <laughs>